Well, it's something a lot of people go through, but it's something that's not often talked about, mental illness and addiction. Mm -hmm. And getting sober doesn't have to be a battle that you fight alone. That's right. There are resources you can turn to for help. And here to tell us more is Dr. Tanmoy Sharma, the CEO of Sovereign Health. Welcome to Colorado's yeah. Best. Well, um, why don't you give us a quick background on Sovereign Health and what it's about? Sovereign Health is a behavioral health <laughs> network. We are in... Uh, uh, five states and nine facilities. Unfortunately, we are not yet in Colorado. We are looking at what we can do in the Denver area. Uh, we are in California, Arizona, uh, Florida, Texas, Utah. Um, the nearest facilities would be in, in California. We treat both addiction and mental health. Uh, most centers just treat addiction alone. Um, we feel that it's important that you treat the underlying cause. So if you are uh, drinking, uh, are you drinking because you're depressed or are you depressed and that's why you're drinking? So it needs to be an integral part of treatment that you are, you are treating the mental health aspect of the addiction problem as well. Okay, so it seemed, you, know, you were telling us a little bit about your background is psychiatry and neurology mm -hmm. and you are incorporating, combining both of those. Yes, right? the, the treatments at Sovereign are evidence-based and uh, the facilities are medically driven. So whilst we are very involved in ensuring that people have fellowship uh, meetings in the evenings, the, the treatment itself has to be based on evidence. And so we do enhanced assessments. We do, um, and based on those assessments, we have individualized treatment plans. All right, and uh, people watching today, who should be calling? Well, anybody that feels that we, c we can help them, they, um, usually it is a loved one that, mm -hmm. that call us. We, we get over 2,000 calls every day. Wow. Wow. And, and so, and because we're a national network and we are, um, and, it, and listening to these calls from time to time, it is a loved one that calls. Often people who are in the throes of addiction uh, and who are suffering from mental health don't necessarily realize that they, they need that help. Yeah. So Sovereign Health, um, you've developed what you call better metrics for addiction treatment. Can you explain what that is? Yes, we, we spearheaded this whole thing on measurement-based care. Um, what has happened in the addiction industry uh, is that we, we should be measuring, or we haven't traditionally measured what we have done. For example, if you go to your primary care physician, you, you tell him or her that, you, you are feeling dizzy and you have uh, problems getting out of bed uh, and you have headaches. Um, and if they just take a history and give you some tablets and tell you that these are for high blood pressure or hypertension, you know, you're not likely to take them. He or she hasn't measured your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So given that addiction is a brain illness, it is important that we measure brain function. And that's what Sovereign is spearheading it's saying, we, we have been saying that it's important for us to have measurement-based care. Um, and only, you know, you can judge yourself not by what kind of relapses patients have once they discharge, but how good is your treatment and developing metrics nationwide for that kind of treatment and, and enhance compliance in terms of what you do, how you do it. So we feel that it's important for us within treatment to see how is, you know, what is the engagement between the, the therapist and the patient? Mm -hmm. The therapeutic alliance, if you like, is that developing? Because if that's not there, then you have a lot of problems getting through to the patient. Um, can you tell us the difference between an acute condition and a chronic condition and where addiction fits in that? Well, the industry as such has been treating addiction like we treat infection. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, it's, you, you give them a shot of penicillin or erythromycin or any other antibiotic, um, and that's an acute treatment. Addiction is a chronic relapsing and remitting illness. We need to ensure that there is long-term care available. Going into residential treatment or into an acute detoxification unit is like going into intensive care. If you, take a, if you take the analogy from heart disease, it's really after rehab, if you like, that treatment starts, mm -hmm. that you've sorted out your acute problems, but you are in recovery for a long time. 
you just like if you had right. yes, okay. just like if you had diabetes. Sure. So you went into a, a some kind of instability, and that's why you were hospitalized. Right. Uh, and you went into treatment, and then you have to control your weight. You make sure you're not, uh, ex you know, don't have excessive sugars and and uh, your diet, your exercise, everything else. Okay, that's, that's great information. Uh, and if you or a loved one is struggling with mental Ill illness or addiction, call right now to see how Sovereign Health can help. Their number is 866-698-4295 uh, and call them uh, if your family, your loved one needs that help. Thank you, doctor. Well, coming up on Colorado's Best, carve out